So we're currently working on the 1.10 update uh, across all the Affinity apps at the moment. And in fact, the main focus of this update is going to be all about performance. And I just kind of wanted to give you a little sneak peek of some of the performance gains that we're seeing. Um, there's a number of different aspects of performance that we're working on, but in fact, one of them is about dealing with huge documents, documents that have got hundreds of thousands of uh, layers, for example. And in fact, here I've got a document that's got around 200,000 vector objects and layers on it. Um, and at the moment, I'm in the current version. So this is version 1.9. This is one that's currently out. Um, and you can perhaps see, it's going to be a little bit difficult to see, but if I was to sort of zoom into an area, you can perhaps see that that's just slightly jerky when I zoom in. There's a little bit of lag with rendering. Um, and also, if I was to sort of pick up an object like this man here, um, I just need to drill in because there's quite a lot of uh, groups and things. And if I sort of just move that around, I mean, it, we're actually doing a pretty good job, to be honest with you, but it's probably only rendering now at around 10 frames a second. So let me just come out of that. Um, another thing where you can really see this actually is with text. And I've got this text in the background here. Um, and again, this is the current version 1.9. In fact, I'll start by bringing this text to the top of our layer stack. And you can see at the top of the layer stack, if I move this, this text is lovely and smooth. Right? This is exactly what you want. Um, but actually, if I move it at the bottom of our layer stack, uh, I'll just move that a couple of layers up. So it's out. So now it's actually underneath all of those sort of 200,000 objects, basically. And you can see now when I move this around, it's actually quite jerky. In fact, it's really quite laggy, uh, which clearly isn't kind of what we want. Which again is understandable. It's underneath at this point 200,000 objects, but um, these are the sorts of things that we wanted to try to make better. So uh, now if I was just to flick to the current beta version, so this is now the, the latest 1.10 that we're working on in beta. And I'll just do the same thing. If I zoom in now to this area, hopefully you can see that that zoom uh, is a lot smoother. There's a lot less sort of rendering lag. If I was to pick up this guy again, and I'll sort of just drill in, uh, this is actually now a lot closer to 60 frames a second when I move them around. And again, if I come to this text, and in fact, this text is already, as you can see, at the bottom of the layer stack here, uh, the same position that I took it to on the other version. And even at this position, where it's underneath all of those other layers, uh, the rendering is basically instant when I adjust that text frame. So we are seeing these incredible performance improvements. Actually, we've, we've kind of clocked this actually um, with a straightforward rendering test going from like 100% to 2,000%, I think it was. And in the current version, it was taking around 400 milliseconds to render on this document, whereas on the latest 1.10 beta, we're actually seeing around 50 milliseconds to render that. So we're almost 10 times as fast, actually, which is great. Um, but we also kind of wanted to see just how far we could push this. Um, so let me just go back to the 1.9 version. I've actually got some other layers here, um, which I'll bring on. I'll also get rid of this. Uh, Adventureland logo so you can sort of see it um, and actually now this is bringing this document to have around 600,000 layers so about three times as many even as what we were looking at before um, and in fact here you can uh, perhaps really see the difference more I'll just sort of zoom into it and now I'll just actually pan around this document and again you can see with the current version as I pan around with such a big document I am getting quite a lot of these sort of rendering artifacts as I as I pan, and that's really quite uh, noticeable. Where again, if I flick to the uh, 1.10 beta, I'll bring up all of these other objects again. Again, I'll get rid of that Adventureland logo and sort of just zoom in to about the same level as what I was before. And now when I pan around, as you can see, there's barely any rendering artifacts at all, actually, uh, when I pan. So this is a really, really substantial performance improvement that we're seeing with these huge documents with hundreds of thousands of vector objects. As I say, there are lots of other little performance improvements that we're making as well. And I should say, actually, at the moment, I'm running this on, a, on an M1 uh, MacBook Air. Um, so it's obviously a decent chip, although we are driving a 5K display here, so we're kind of pushing it to its limit. But what I wanted to say was is that actually all of these performance improvements that we're making, we're actually doing within software. And what that means is it's, we're going to sort of see those same kind of multiples of performance improvements across all, of, all operating systems that we support. So that's Windows um, and iPad too. So as I say, this is the current beta version of 1.10. We're hoping we should be able to launch this towards the end of next month. But if you go to our forums now, you can actually try out the beta for yourself.